Thanks for staying for sports, and in case you missed it, earlier this week, perhaps the most decorated kicker in Montana prep football history announced his commitment to the University of Montana. I spoke with Billing Central's Camden Casper about his development as a kicker and why in the end he decided to sign with the Grizz. All I really have to do is make the kick. Easy peasy. For the last four years, Billing Central kicker Camden Capser has made kicking look easy peasy. At one point, Capser made 85 straight extra points, good for 16th all time in the country. I don't even have to look, I already know it's good. Trust in, trust in my team and the line and the snapper and the holder and they make my life easy. Capser gave kicking a try in middle school and was instantly hooked. A soccer player his whole life, kicking on the gridiron has now become his first love. I love it. It's, it's super fun. It's just such a different dynamic than soccer. You're kind of out there alone, which is nerve-wracking, but when you, make, when you make a far kick, I mean, it's like, it's unreal. It's like nothing else. He's become perhaps the most decorated kicker in Montana prep football history. In addition to his consecutive PAT record, he also holds the all-time state record for extra points at 146 and counting. That track record drew the attention of multiple Division I schools. It's always been my dream to play a college sport. I've worked so hard at it for so long and for my dream to finally come true is incredible. Two of the names that came calling, Montana and Montana State. In the end, Capser went with his heart and chose the Grizz. First of all, I'm, I'm a legacy at the Grizz. My uncle played on their 95 national championship team and the Grizz, they have a, they have a super good shot at a national championship when I get there. So. I'd love to be part of that. And Missoula's getting a guy with a big leg. Capture's made from 65 yards out in practice, and he's good from 42 yards in a game on three different occasions. He's a pretty tough guy too. He dislocated his shoulder recently against Harden, something he never thought would happen in his position. Never, never in my wildest dreams, but it was, it was crazy. Onside kick, slid in for it, uh, got hit in the shoulder, popped it out. Went to the sidelines, got it put back in, and then finished the game. Soon we'll see him at Washington Grizzlies Stadium kicking on Saturdays. And if all goes to plan, maybe one day you'll see the name Capser kicking on Sundays. Capser also enjoying his senior season with the Billing Central soccer team. All right, in Missoula, disc golfers this weekend having a fun tournament at Paddy Canyon Disc Golf Course. Disc golfers from all over the state gathering for the Montana State Disc Golf Championships. This is the first time Patty Canyon has hosted the tournament since 2006, and disc golfers of all ages, backgrounds, genders have been enjoying the exciting yet competitive atmosphere. Tournament director Brian Beardum says the annual tournament has been a long time coming. With everything going on this year in the world, um, we haven't had as many tournaments as we normally would in a year, so being able to host this tournament and bring together everybody from around the state is really exciting. To Billings now, and after a long summer of hard work, the Blue Creek Bike Park was finally finished and they celebrated their grand opening today. The project was led by Pedal United and the Yellowstone Rivers and Parks Association along with other partners. The bike park offers two new pump tracks offering a different form of cycling in the Magic City. Blue Creek Bike Park requires no membership and is open anytime to the public. Jason Hudson's been working on the project all summer long and today he's happy to see families enjoy the park together. You know, cycling in general is, is something that, you know, even kids that are two years old are out here, adults and, you know, 50 plus years old uh, can just come enjoy together. Not a lot of activities that do that. There's a kiddie corral for the little kids to enjoy and a full-sized pump track for more advanced riders. For today's event, Jason and the crew also built some jumps to preview other additions they hope to add next summer to the park. So far, it's been a hit for the kids. My favorite part of being out here today is being able to be with the community, do the pump track and stuff, and meet some new people, and also free hamburgers. It's going to be a new hangout. I've taken probably about three of my friends here. They all really enjoyed it. The pump track mostly because it's super flowy, and it can like beginner riders can do it. My favorite part about the pump track is when you're going around here and you're right about there, you're getting enough speed, you can do that and then do a little spine hump, spine, spine jump there, and then go around again, and it's really fun. Great to see all those kids outside enjoying the park. And finally, we wrap things up today with the SWX Hit Play of the Week. The SWX Hit Play of the Week is brought to you by American Auto Body. To the pitch for this week's play in Senior Bronx and Skyview, and it's a free kick for Seth D'Ambrosia, and he blasts it right past the keeper. 
What a hit for him, and guess what? He wasn't done. Here, D'Ambrosia scores on another free kick as his Bronx roll past Skyview. And those senior Bronx stay atop the Eastern AA standings. Well, that's your check on sports. We're back after this.